All right, what's up, y'all? So last night, Jose Pedraza fought Jose Ramirez. And if you watch my predictions, I had predicted that Jose Pedraza would um, win a unanimous decision. And he would totally outclass and outbox Ramirez. That's what I thought was going to happen. But, you know, um, that's not what the judges saw. Uh, and first thing I want to point out was the copy box. And let me first tell you all this. The copy box is just, first off, humans are not perfect. They make mistakes. And that's all copy box is, is somebody sitting ringside, watching the fight, like a spectator does, and pushes a button when they think a hit lands. That's all it is. So let me first read you all what they published this morning. All right. So they said, Jose Ramirez landed 31% of his uh, power punches. 297 thrown, 91 landed. Jose Pedraza landed 23% of his power punches, 388 thrown, and 89 landed. Ramirez doubled up Pedraza in jabs, landing 42 to 21. Ramirez also held a 41 to 18 advantage in body punches landed. Uh, he finished strong, Ramirez did, supposedly, who outlanded Pedraza 28 to 14 in rounds 11 and 12. And landed 18 and threw 61 in round number 12. The fight took place in Fresno, California. So, of course, you know, it was going to favor the American, Rod Ramirez. You know, Pedraza being Puerto Rican. Now, the judges all scored it. Um, well, what did they score it? I believe they all scored it 116-112 uh, for Ramirez. It was a unanimous decision. Um, which is... BS, because I had it way closer. I thought Pedraza fought beautifully. I mean, and if I, I don't think those copy box numbers are right. I mean, if you watched the fight live, you saw how much Ramirez was getting frustrated and missing a lot because of Pedraza's great defense and footwork and maneuvering and getting out of the way of punches and countering. He fought a perfect fight. Yes, uh, Ramirez did dictate the pace of the fight. He brought the fight to Pedraza, but Pedraza was countering the shit out of him and just made him look really bad, in my opinion. He exposed uh, Ramirez in a lot of ways. Also, you know, the commentating was very biased. You know, they were saying Ramirez was landing shots whenever there was just an exchange. And even though Pedraza was defending and, miss and making a miss... But then when Pedraza would land shots in the inside, really slick counters, they didn't acknowledge it, you know? So they're being super biased. And um, that's why Ramirez won, you know? But personally, and a lot of... I, I've been looking at comments all over YouTube. I'm not the only one who thinks that uh, Pedraza got robbed. I, he at least deserved a draw. Come on, you know? I think he should have won, but he at least deserved a draw. And I think Pedraza exposed Ramirez in a lot of ways. Um, Ramirez is basically another Margarito 2.0. You know what I mean? He, he has that one style and that's it. And he's not really technically that great of a boxer. Pedraza proved that. Pedraza looked amazing compared to Ramirez. Just like I thought he would. But ultimately they gave Ramirez the decision. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh... Pedraza looked great. Footwork, defense, counterpunching. He was sniping him, just like his nickname, the sniper. He was doing just that the whole fight, you know. But yeah, um, the next fight I'll be doing, I already did a prediction of Chocolatito versus Martinez. So, you know, that'll, that'll be the next fight. After it's over, I will recap that. But um, I'm predicting Chocolatito by landslide. 
But um, as far as Pedraza versus Ramirez, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Who do y'all think won? Was it a robbery? Did Ramirez do something that I didn't see? Or do y'all think Pedraza did what I thought he was going to do and deserved to win? Uh, leave a comment below. Subscribe, like, etc. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace, y'all.